Okay, so today, I'm going to be working on hunters. No lie. So, what we got to do here, because her, um, her clutch is squeaking, so the bearings are making noise. So, we're going to take the chain off, uh, the gear off, the whole clutch arm out. We're going to knock off the bearing in the back knock out the bearing here. I think it's the bearing on the drive side, but I'm not 100%. Um, we'll know more when we get it open. I have a brand new motor that I'm using as parts because it had that broken bolt back here. See how it's just spinning? The bolt broke off. I could dig it out and not really care, but they're sending me a brand new motor. So I look at it as, you know, I don't need to dig it out if they're gonna send me a brand new motor. Um, I can literally just use this motor for parts then, you know, which is much easier. This? Yep. The threads are pretty clear on that one because this is the one we just did recently. Get it in there as tight as you can get her. As tight as I can go. Yeah, here, use this. Tighten her up in there more. All right, go for it. This should be good. Now tighten this down. Just with your hand for now. Put the screwdriver down. Yep. Bingo, bingo. Okay. All right, now again with the wrench. Nope, on the part you were just tightening. Oh, this? Yep. We're gonna pull that gear right off, make sure it's square so we don't round it off. Okay. <clears throat> yep. How tight? Uh, keep going until it stops. Oh. You go back up, try not to hit my hand, because that will hurt. Because it will start to get looser. Oh, I got it. Okay. You're pulling that gear off. Oh. Yeah, it's getting loose now. All right, good, I'm gonna let go. Okay. Now this is where the keyway is gonna be, so go ahead and if you can pull that off, pull her off. Cool, cool, cool. Use a little screwdriver, pop out that little stupid keyway that we always lose. Oh, great. Now it's your turn to lose it. No, I won't lose it. So says she. Mm. Yeah, they're usually stuck in there pretty good. That's why I always hit them with a big flathead and a hammer. Pushing can you get it off with the, use the pliers? Bring it out this way. Yeah, see if you can just pull it out. Yes. Yeah. Look at Yes. It was coming out. Yeah, and then you keep pushing it. <laughs> Shut up. You can't grab it. That's the whole thing. I don't know. It's hard to get. Oh, oh, you! Right there. Son of a monkey's uncle. You were oh, on it. You, it you were on an angle. Okay. So you weren't getting any grip. So you have to be square with whatever you're doing. Okay. It uses more grip. Okay, so for the next step, I have to take your cover off now. She's doing it over there on the actual bike I'm just doing it to this motor so I can get it all apart so after you take your cover off um, take out the arm and this doesn't have a ball in it because we used it on her bike because I lost it so next step is take off this sock this nut which when I put it back on last time it is loose so that makes for great videoing I didn't have to break it loose so Yours will definitely be tight, so just remember that. Uh, take out this little washer. There we go. Washer is out. Now we just got to take this off. With every kit, you get one of these. This is a pulley puller. And what this does, take it loose in this, make sure this is loose because you don't want it hitting the inside because that's going to go on that. Let's make sure it's good enough. It should be, but we'll take a little more. You, what I do, because these threads are really, really temperamental, I just go backwards until I feel a click. Let's see, listen close. It's real wobbly. There. Heard that click, and then as soon as you, that means the, the threads are lined up, and as soon as you start turning the other way, you should be go. Now, it's not 100% guaranteed every single time like that, but I'd say 99% of the time. If you hear that click and then you start threading on, you'll be good. Um, now, this one I've used a couple times, but when you first get it, they're bare metal when they send them to you, so you might want to take like a wire brush and clean it, and just clean the threads out real good so that you don't have to worry about it, um, you know, getting stuck and 
not having it 100% right and all that stuff so you mess up your threads so you might want to do that now the way I do it because that's just how I do it is I have a angled um, box and wrench like this and I just put it on here like so and what it does is it catches that tooth right there and that holds this from spinning now you can put a penny or dime in the gear on the other side and all that I just find this easier because I can hold it while I'm sitting on this side so all you got to do at that point get your wrench on there hold it down there she's in there pretty tight tighten down the pusher this is the puller part and just tighten her keep going keep going keep going and mine's already loose like I said I took this off not too long ago okay so this is off this one is also missing the keyway because that also fell into the concrete <sighs> we were working late night one night and it was just a bad night everything just started happening it wasn't that late it was just getting dusk like dark and everything was happening the keyway is over there somewhere somewhere we just don't know where so it is what it is so we got our bubble gear off or whatever you call it I don't know gear now the way I do this is I put this nut back on until it's flush with the head now this is probably the worst way to do it but this is the way I do it so follow at your own risk are you ready right. are you ready <laughs> so this is what I do guys I put a piece of wood so like I said I make this flush up against the uh, shaft and then I take a piece of wood so I don't mess it up and mar it but I just want a little more contact and I don't want the threads to get messed up so that's all I do it's just to keep the threads from getting messed up I'm gonna take the nut off and the shaft comes out easy peasy so what we're after is that bearing which is really hard to get to I really think it's only this this bearing on yours that's bad to be honest with you but while you're here let's knock her on out okay we can just lay it down I'm definitely mucking it up mm. moving now bingos we got ourselves a bearing and this is brandy new next step is we got to take this bearing off um, to do that we got to take the um, clutch basket off uh, to do that there's a nut inside I took the nut off I should have showed you I didn't but there's a nut right on the inside underneath this and then I put the pulley puller in here it's threaded the baskets threaded you just do this now, I don't have it in a bike, obviously, so I'm just using a good pair of channel locks to screw up my shaft here, so it's unusable. So I don't recommend doing it that way, but I do it because I don't care. And you just tighten her down, and you pull your basket off. Boom. Done deal again. Now, underneath here is another keyway. Try not to lose that one. That is off. Now, all you have left is your shaft with the bearing that I need off. So we're gonna try to pull that bad boy off somehow. So <clears throat> to get that bearing off, this bearing right here, all I did, um, it's not on there super tight. I literally just tapped it with a hammer and I don't mean hard, I tapped it because you can separate a bearing, the outer race from the inner race and the ball bearings will fly out sealed or not. The seal is really just to keep the grease in and dirt out. Um, it doesn't actually bind the bearing together. The bearing is put together with pressure from my understandings. So be careful hitting this. I did it. It was literally just a couple light taps and this thing fell right off for me. So that's good. Put that down there. The next step. So what I'm going to do is I got to take and loosen this to expose. See the threads down in there? This outer catch for the spring. This is just basically in essence a big nut. Um, and this is just a spacer that sits on here on the shaft. It's like recessed. You'll see when I pull it apart. I'm going to just back this off, release the spring, have the threads exposed, put a little bit of thread locker on it, and then I'm going to tighten down the spring again. Um, and I'm just going to do it by eyeball, basically. 
Right now this is set up at stock height, which is about the top of this is at the very top of the threads, like level. They're um, parallel to each other basically, I think. Right, parallel? Perpendicular? No, parallel. Parallel is the right answer. Congratulations! So, <clears throat> I'm gonna basically probably put it one or two turns more, which will in essence compress the spring down so the preload is gonna be greater, which will make any stock clutch grab much harder. It is gonna make you feel a little harder grab in the actual handle, but not where you won't be able to squeeze it unless you're super weak-handed, I don't know. But she's small and tiny and she can most certainly do it, no problem. That's how hers was set up and it works great and we haven't had any trouble with her bike idling, with the clutch disengaged and whatnot. So I'm gonna rip this apart real quick and uh, show you what I come up with after that. So I loosened it up enough where I could just finish it by hand. But this is all that's in here in a clutch. Uh, spring shaft, I don't know what you want to call it really, the retainers. Um, there's a little pin, which is what holds this on, and which is in turn what holds this on. This, see the grease on the end there? That is what the bucking ball touches against, and the, um, the little half shaft, the bucking shaft, I don't know, the bucking bar, that's what hits against the bucking ball when you push your clutch in. The little handle pivots, pushes this way, pushes against all that stuff, and this is spinning. That's why you have the bucking ball. It, in essence, that's really just a bearing um, because the shaft isn't spinning, this shaft is spinning, and when you push it, there's gonna be friction, so it, that's why it needs to be lubricated, and that's why you get the uh, bucking arm gets dimpled and whatnot. Even the end of this will get dimpled if you don't use enough lube. So, that's all. This, is, this side here is where your uh, flower nut goes on and what tightens your pressure plate on it <clears throat> okay so and this is the drinker side of the bike the right side of the bike and when you tighten down the uh, flower nut it's what pulls your plate in so super simple all I'm gonna do with this is I wanted to have these exposed so I'll clean this up put some grease in it and then I'm gonna um, put some thread locker on this because what I've noticed is for about a day or two your clutch will be adjusted great, but then after you use it, it backs itself back off and pushes up against the bearing, and that's not enough pressure to put the plate and you're back in the same spot again. So a little bit of red thread locker, and this doesn't move on you, and you're set for life. Um, you can do all your adjustments then through the flower nut and whatnot. If you do have to get this open again, I mean, everyone says thread locker is the end all, but it's not. You can literally take it on and off. But before you put it back on and use it again, you do need to clean the threads out or you will be in a pickle. Right. So, all right, let me clean this up and fill it with grease and get the thread locker on and we'll reassemble and I'll show you how we do it. Okay guys, I'm gonna do my best here to reassemble this on camera. Hopefully you guys are picking this up, but I can't guarantee it. So, where I grab it with the channel locks, which is probably the least ideal way to do this, but Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. It can mar it up, see the marring? Especially if it spins on you, which I had the channel locks facing the wrong way. And that is true, channel locks, pliers, crescent wrench, box and wrench, all the things that have a, a curved shape to them, there is a proper way to put them on to loosen or tighten. The teeth are shaped in a certain way so that they grab. Otherwise, if you don't, a monkey wrench, if you try to use a monkey wrench one way, it won't work. When you go the right way, it actually clamps and pulls the arm down, which in turn puts more force down on the item, the pipe, whatever you're loosening. Same goes with the channel locks. See the shape? So you'd want these to go like this. Down would be loosening. If you try to hold them like this and go like this to loosen something, you'll end up just spinning 90% of the time. It will spin, in, but if you turn it like this and put the grip down, you will have 50% more grip easily from squeezing it. <clears throat> Just know whichever way you're going, you want this to hook hook over it. So this angle, uh, box and wrenches, crescent wrenches, all of them. You know, because like in a crescent wrench, the, the um, little dial that turns it and moves this side up and down. If you're using it to go this way with the crescent wrench, you're putting all that uh, weight and force on that little turner thing. If you do it the other way, you're putting the weight on the, the solid piece of metal, and this is just a holder. Makes a big difference. 
So anyway, that's tool talk for uh, right now. So I cleaned this all up and where I marred it up, I took a little metal file. Now don't do a lot, but I just wanted to get the rough edges off. So I don't go down till it's smooth or flat and flush and looks perfect. I just go down until the little nicks are gone. Now you might still pick it up like here. I could pick it up with my nail still, but that's just because it's in the metal. But when you're rubbing your hand over like this, there's nothing catching you. It's a smooth, flat surface again. So we're good there. This is your retainer. This goes on here like so, right? So it all moves, okay? This is your flower nut retainer. See the small dimple in there from getting used? That's from the, uh, the ball. Now I am putting grease all up in here because this needs to be greased. This is why you gotta grease your bucking ball and bucking arm and all that stuff because it all gets down into this. And it's hard to grease this when it's behind your clutch basket, you know? Like you can't really get to it unless you take it apart like I just did. So, so here it goes like so. And whenever I put something in like this, I always spin it. Just because I'm crazy. No, but because that helps like pull the grease in, if that makes sense. Because otherwise you just push it in and it scrapes on the walls. But if you spin it as you're going in and like a screw, it kind of helps a little bit. That's why you see me spinning stuff. I mean, you need to do whatever you want, but I'm just letting you know why I do stuff. So that goes in. You can see the, can you see that? See the arm? No, the hole? Arm, listen to me. The hole, so that goes in there. This goes like so. The retaining pin, that goes in next. Like so. Get that extra grease on the outside wall. Okay, now the pin is in. This See how it moves? This all moves when you push the clutch pedal, or handle, sorry. But that pin is in there, and now this is, the retaining pin's in, and this will not come off unless you take that pin off, which is super simple, but necessary. Now, for me, well, for anyone really, spring goes on, then the retainer nut goes on. This is gonna go on, and this is gonna screw on. I am gonna put some red thread locker on it. And you don't gotta put an amazing amount on here putting a little bit here a little bit there a little bit everywhere now i'm spinning the uh, spring just so i can get to all the threads but that's it can you see it it's basically just two little drops and the thread locker when it's not hard it's really thin and if you look see how just from holding it flat see how it's going down the threads so that's more than enough People get way carried away. I used to get way carried away with putting a thread locker on. And then you learn, live and learn. Just make sure your pin is still good. The pin is good. We are Gucci in that aspect. Let me just actually back this off a little. I want to spin the spring. Something I noticed from doing this twice now. See where the pin is right there? Right? So I had one that was set up just like this, where this top part of the spring was not up against this and the it came out on that side and bent the arm it's in a video that you haven't seen yet um, it wasn't a short you might have seen so if you put the spring right over top of that pin and then the other side is just where it hits it will help hold that retainer in now I don't know it probably moves around I'm sure as everything's spinning and stuff but once there's a lot of pressure on here at least for the beginning you know you did your best to keep it from on you. I don't know why I threw them. I'm going to need them. So again, the way I'm going to do this, we got to tighten this this way, right? So we want to hold this this way. See the shape? So I can go, I can go down, right? Okay, good. We're all on the same page. I'm just using channel locks because that's what I got. A little tiny pair. They're cute, aren't they? I know. And I'm just tightening this. Now remember, this was even with the threads, so I'm gonna go about one or two past that. Yeah, see the spring, I'm grabbing the spring too, so it's spinning with the retainer. So I'm gonna have to make sure I put that spring where I want it when I'm done here. Now there's definitely tools that you're supposed to use to do this. I don't have those tools. 
but these seem to work fine for me. So use what you got, guys. You know, I mean, this is a hobby that's supposed to be fun. It's not supposed to be stressful. If you're getting stressed, then you're in the wrong hobby. Okay. See how much threads I got coming out? That's where I like to have it, where it's like one, two, one and a half threads, basically, from the bottom of the retainer. Checking for the pin. The pin is in nicely. The spring's in a good spot. I'm happy with that. So now you have tons of pressure on your thing, your uh, clutch and all that nonsense. So we're going to go over to her bike and we're going to start assembling. Okay. All right, guys, I put that bearing in. I forgot to record it because I just get excited. So to put these bearings in, like you don't want to really push on the race itself, the middle race, because you could, you know, pop it out of its uh, outer race and knock the bearings out. You could squish if you use a you can use a deep socket if you have one big enough. I do not. If you use one that's too small that doesn't hit the outside edge, you will hit the dust cover, and in that turn, that will crush your dust cover and ruin everything you have going on. So what I did is I used the old assembly, and I just lined it up, and I beat it on the outside here and pushed it in that way because this way it pushes evenly on it. That was the only option I really had, so that's what I did. I didn't want to ruin the new bearings, so... You know, a little sacrifice with with great sacrifice comes great responsibility or something like that. Whatever Spider-Man says, you know how it is. So that's what we did here. Um, we spider man the heck out of it. And now we're going to install the rest of it. Now we got that off. Um, you still got the stock clutches in it from when, uh, you know, the motor was new. I mean, the motor's only, only had a week and a half of runtime on it of me riding it but i didn't use it for everything i did i just did it to burn the fuel up and stuff just to get it broken in for uh anthony because this whole thing was originally his but you saw in the video how that landed on me because i uh blamed it on cheap chinese junk saying that the bolt not this one this one had drilled out i wasn't lazy with this one but i thought i made it clear i was just being lazy because he's a lot lighter than me but it had six millimeters front and back, just like this one did. And I left it six millimeter because I'm like, ah, eh, it's a week and a half of me riding it. He's way lighter than me. He's not gonna push it like me. So I left it. The day before, or the day of me giving it to him, it broke one of the bolts back here on a ride. So instead of drilling it out, I called up the people. They said, yeah, you don't gotta send it back to me. We'll just send you a new one. That's why I'm using this one as parts. And I said it was cheap Chinese junk because it's a six millimeter bolt. Hence, it is not my fault really because, you know, it came stock from the factory with them and it broke while riding it normal, not doing anything crazy. But some people <clears throat> said I put a bunch of these together and I should know better. Granted, I should have put an eight millimeter bolt in it, but it is how it came from the factory. So me putting a different bolt in at that point then means i'm customizing it and i wasn't trying to do that with his bike but i mean it's my fault i was being lazy and i knew what to do to make it better but at the same time that's how it is from the factory so uh, cheap chinese crap i think is a liable argument on this one mm -hmm. what do you think heather i agree you agree she agrees so that's enough for me mm -hmm. all right we're gonna finish putting it back together and uh time in, in a second all right, Miss Heather is gonna put this in there. Put it in the hole, dear. Mm -hmm. I'm good at that. Mm. Good. Give her a couple taps in. There's a piece of wood too, put that on there. Just make sure it doesn't bind up on the gear. Mm -hmm. Make sure the gear isn't gonna go ahead. Yep. Lay it flat if you can. Uh, it is flat. No, no, flat. Oh, that way. Okay. Yeah, so it spreads it more. Give her help. More. It's going to go a lot more. Whoa! Almost. Better behind the camera. Mm -hmm. Harder. Did you 
hitting no, it like a I'm girl. I'm doing it hard. No, you definitely want to keep that where it is. Here, let me do it so I can get Please. it. Cause you want to keep this where. I take that. Nope. You want to keep this so it's, it hits against it flush. So you had it as best. It feels flat. It feels fresh. It feels fresh. Fresh. <laughs> Need a keyway. Lose it. Try not to. No promises. <laughs> Can't reach there. Let's use this here. Voila. Viola. Mucho better Mucho better <clears throat> Alright, we'll take the sprocket out here. Take the... <clears throat> Actually, I don't even got to. I got this one already out, so let's just use this one. Uh, that goes on there, such as this. Like so. Like so. Just tap it in. Just tap it in. <laughs> A little tap tap. What's the matter? You don't want to go home? <laughs> if you don't know the reference, we can't be you can't watch this <laughs> channel anymore and we can't be friends. Although if you're from out of the country, you might not know that reference. Uh, so I'll tell you. It is Adam Sandler. Uh, what's the name Happy of the movie? Gilmore. Happy Gilmore. Uh, you just need to watch it. Bob Barker's in it. It's, <laughs> it's a gold. It's absolute gold. Eh, 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 eh. Where's my, who's a what's it? My wrench, the box and opening. Um, Actually, it's all box in. Over there, somewhere. Right here! Found it. Found it! <clears throat> so we're gonna put this bad boy in one of these, if I can get it in there. Which one is it? This one here? We'll go in this one. Yep. And boom. It just holds it from spinning on me. Snug, snug like a bug. All right, let's spin it out so we can get this out. Bingo! 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 Bango! Bango! What's next? Um, That's it. Something. So we gotta put the bucking ball and bucking arm and bucking thingy. We need some grease. Grease, grease. grease is over there. Grease is over here. Grease over across. yonder. Grease is across the sea, across the ocean. <laughs> Smart out. Dummy. Where is the white screwdriver? Oh, found I found it. it. I found it before you. Let's put this on me because I'm known to get greasy. Mm -hmm. Three, oh, dropping two, it. Wait. Dropping it, dropping it, dropping it. Got it. Barely got it. All right. Now, I don't think you can over grease this. I mean, you could probably over grease it, I don't know. But I put a liberal amount of grease in it because it's not my bike. And the person that does ride this bike <clears throat> doesn't maintenance it properly all the time. Oh, she's a dummy. She's an idiot. <laughs> but, I mean, it takes one to know one. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. That's very true. It is what it is. We're just a couple of dummies. Idiots, uh, not get dummies. it? We're a couple. <laughs> and the grease squeezes out. Nice. That's how you know you got the right amount. When you push it in, it kind of squeezes out. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> Alright, and since this is already off, we're going to do our obligatory cleaning. Perfect. And then we're going to shove some grease down in. Grease up the hole. Grease up the hole. We gotta lube the hole, guys. Lube it up good. Get on it. Get that lube down in there good. You know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the clutch on the bike. Calm down. 
guys are so dirty. Um, that's pretty great. Back in. You told me to take the well, off. she went for a test drive, <laughs> and uh, it was slipping horribly. So we took one look at it. She didn't know what it was. I took a quick glance, and we figured it out. You need a chain <laughs> on one of these things to make it work, guys. Whoopsie! It's a good Don't thing she's me. stacked <laughs> in some departments. <laughs> yep. At least there's something good about her. Yep. Because the brain ain't always working. I may working. not got brain, but I got beauty. Something like that, right? Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, take 55,261. My battery's about to die, so we need to do this. Right. She's gonna see if it slips, starts up, and if it idles. Well, it's starting, so that's a good sign. Let's see what happens. Let's see if she picks up speed, she did a quick Yui. Still cold. She's picking up speed. So I don't think it's slipping. It doesn't sound like it's slipping, so we'll check for idle. She'll come back in, check for idle, and then we gotta tighten the carburetor up. We found out that it was loose the other day. And um, honestly, just oversight. Um, get so busy working on everything, doing everything, and you just forget about stuff, so. All right, let's get it in here and see if it idles. Yeah, I know. I said we got to do that. Is it idle? Yeah. I think we got it on the first try, folks. First time for everything. Nah, that's the idle. I can hear it grabbing. It's idling, but I can hear it grabbing. Yeah. So we got to go a hair more. Did it feel like it was slipping at all? I couldn't tell because uh, the carb, I have to tighten it. It was bogging as it was. It, was, it, I couldn't, it's, I couldn't. it revs up without. No, well, moving. it wasn't revving. Here, bring it over. Oh. Here, bring it over. Woo. Idle. No change at all. Very good. How is it running better? Good. Way better, right? No yeah. air leak. So. It's boogie. It's again. Good. So, uh,. Happy? Nice. Yep. Very happy. Very happy. All right, bring her over. Let's tighten up the, uh, on the other side, I want to tighten the shield up. Uh, tighten up the, uh, the cover, make sure this is tight, and that's it. And we're done. All right, guys. As always, thanks for tuning in. If you get a chance, uh, throw a like. If you can, please subscribe. It helps me out with the YouTube algorithm, so I can start making millions in about 20 years. And uh, if you could also drop me a line, that's the most important to me because I just like to talk to you guys. Um, also, check me out on Facebook. Uh, we have a Facebook group with Johnny's Motorized Bicycles. And uh, that'd be awesome if you guys come over there and, you know, join it. Post what you're doing. This way I can see what you guys are doing. You can post videos, little conversations, all that stuff. It's a lot of fun for me. That's the most fun. I mean, this is... This, I'm not doing YouTube for money because I'm not making any. One, and two, that's not why I got into it. I did it for other reasons um, but basically to share the hobby that I just really enjoy with everyone else and see what they're doing and how they're doing it so again thanks a lot guys and I'll talk to you later peace